So one of the easy ways to find the portfolio from our main Propagate page is go on the right-hand column here to the RBGE Dip Diploma Botanical Illustration. Click on that link. It will take you to the Diploma Botanical Illustration page. Again, on the right-hand side, you go to Portfolio, My Portfolio, Your Portfolio Access, and you click on that. And there you go, it takes you right to the portfolio page. And then to go back, obviously you just click on the propagate already. One way that uh, I found is really useful uh, is to organize um, not just my portfolio pages, but my files that I'm going to use as well. Uh, so I'll show you, this may not work for you, but it, it's something that's worked for me. Uh, so I'll just share it with you. Um, so from your dashboard page, you go to content and you want to go to your files and under your files uh, what I've done is for each one of my final third year paintings I've created a folder for each one and then under each folder for that particular image I've created additional folders so you see uh, for the different topics we have to cover like art color matching, composition, drawing, photos. Um, and then you go ahead and you can create new folders. So like uh, I can create final composition and create the folder. And I'll create another folder there. And then I've also got my photos arranged on my page, on my hard drive in the same manner. So you see third year project, I've got the different flowers, I've got some examples, uh, but under like Lady Slipper, I've got art, color matching, composition, drawings, photos. So if I wanted to copy the photos over, I'll just click on the folders. Now, the second folder I have here is I've resized all my images to the proper size so they're not huge. Um, and then I would just take them and make sure I'm in the right folder and go to photos because that's where I want to be. And I'm not going to do a bunch of them, I'll just do a couple. And that is drag them. Oh, before you do that, make sure you check your, uh, check your, you have the uh, ability to copyright these. So I take them, I would just drop them here, and it would say it's uploading them. And you see it's done, and it would be in the folder. This is important because when I go to my portfolio page, I'll just open this up full page. Uh, I go to Lady Slipper, and you see I've got these uh, all here as thumbnails. Now, I know that uh, the request was to do these as uh, images, but I find that that was really time consuming. So what I did is I went to Media, and I did an Image Gallery, and I'll just drag it there so you can see as an example. Then I go to the folder. And remember, I've got them as different folders here. I'll go inside this folder, and I'm going to go to Photos. Oops, sorry, too far down. I can select the whole folder. So in this case, I'm going to select Photos. And I'll say OK. Just click Save. And now I've got an image gallery of, this is a duplicate of what I've done here, Lady Slipper Photos. And then I can say, I'll edit this and change it to Lady Slipper Photos. And I'll save it again. So instead of saying, you know, put in images, it says whatever yours. Let me see, I've done the actual proper name plus the. Uh, local name and then photos that's what I've done there so this is a duplicate so I'm going to go ahead and just delete it I'll say OK and then I'll save it I'll click on done and then if I click on the page and look at it again you'll see that I can click on those and it brings up the images as you go just like you could uh, for the individual images it just puts them in a thumbnail size as opposed to full size of the page. So that's what I've done on all of these. These are all done through the image gallery as opposed to individual images. And I just found that's easier. Hopefully the tutors uh, find that's a good way to, to view it as well. 
uh, once you go in and take a look at them. One of the nice things about this approach is, let's say you wanted to make changes to some of the images on this page. Um, you accidentally put things in photos when you meant to put them in art, which I've done. <laughs> um, instead of having to individually go through and add or delete images, you can just go right to your content page, go right to your files, go down to the folder that has your images in it, uh, photos, and you can go ahead and add additional photos or delete photos. If I delete a photo here on this page, then it will automatically delete it on this page here as well. The nice thing about this, if you delete the content in your files or add stuff in your files, because you're using an image gallery, it will automatically, and you're, and you're picking the image gallery from a folder that you have in your files, it makes it easier for it to update. You don't have to uh, update in your content and in your portfolio. It automatically updates it for you, uh, which I found was a lot easier if you want to move things from one to another because you've made a mistake. Obviously click done and you're ready to go. That's it.